What is going on guys, today we are looking at Patrick, the Czech striker for Leverkusen. He has gone from a 78 common all the way up to a 93 summer stars. He is a four star, four star. He is 6'1", left footed with the medium, medium, and he looks relatively decent. If we take anything from Isaac, hopefully we do get the same sort of results. We have got finesse shot, we have got flair, which is always a big tick in my book. In terms of pace, shooting, even dribbling looks absolutely fantastic. We've got a good amount of strength, head and accuracy is perfect. Even passing, great short, good vision and curve. He looks like a stunning striker. Whether he does the business on the pitch is the next question. But I think he is coming in relatively cheap. He is 185 rated SBC and 181. One requiring, I think it was about 50 or 60 chem. The other one requiring 80. Very, very easy to do. And a nice cheap player to get into a 93. Should be very simple to upgrade with obviously the 80 plus player picks with the 82 to 88 and the 85 to 90 team of the season. So let's jump into Patrick and see how good he has got of that left foot. Okay, this is probably the first time that I've ever played against a very, very weird team. How that has 100 chem, it surely doesn't. I feel like this game's going to be glitched. Yeah, I thought it might have been weird. Patrick getting involved. That's what you love to see from him. Eto not managing to get past him. I feel like he's going to be that big reinforcement sort of striker. Someone who's going to try and win the ball. Maybe has a little bit of dribble on him. It's going to be interesting as this guy does feel like his defense is that little bit sharper than your average player. I'm hoping his agility will take him through. He has got a left foot as well. That is something that you've got to remember. There it is. That's got to be. That's a great save from Courtois. But he is left-footed, so we have got, obviously, Eto on the left, cutting right. And we have got Patrick on the right, cutting left. So hopefully that should really complement each other. We need him to come back on side if he wants to get it. That's a great... Okay, no, it isn't. Patrick, can he get the touch? Davis is going to take it away from him. And again, into Waman. That's a great ball. Kunde is going to take it. It's going to just chip it out. Can we find him back? Get that volley. Goes with a bias. He probably should have took a touch, but I didn't know if it was actually going to get to him. He's going to be good on corners as well. Pizcek getting involved there. But I feel like in terms of kind of like your big, big strikers, that's where he's going to be the most kind of resilient. He's going to be able to make them tackles and really put the pressure on the defense. It's just how much he can do that for. I cannot remember what his stamina was like, but so far so good with him. I feel like he's definitely done enough compared to what attacks I've had. I feel like it definitely could be better, but at the moment we are sitting at nil-nil. Patrick's going to find Waman down at the wing. Going to look for Patrick again. Oh, he's, not, he's not coming into the box. I don't know what that is all about. It should be there 100%. Doesn't manage to win the corner either. That's very, very poor. I think he had medium, medium work rates, which does explain a lot. We may have to look at the custom tactics to make sure that he is willing to go into the box. As that would have been absolutely perfect for Waman to get a pass off. It's a great turn inside. Good recovery from Kunde though. Ooh, goes for the pop shot. One of these times that will go in. Can he get the header as well? Nearly jumps the keeper. The keeper having an absolute mare there. Lovely dribbling from the lad. That's what we want to see. Oh, look at it. He plays it perfectly. That is a cracking little bit of defending there. He's going to find somebody on the line as well. That is, he knows what he's doing. What can we find? Roberto Carlos, top bins. Top bins. It's yellow time. That's keepers there easy. He knows exactly what he's doing, cutting both options there. But Patrick doing absolutely incredible to get that foul. It's unfortunate that obviously the foul did unfortunately come to nothing. Oh, we're just not going to find him through there. He's got that lovely like kind of it's it's almost a, a very much like a kind of like a greenish uh, last touch where he kind of shows his hand and then just takes it away within seconds. That is a very nice little trait to have. Can we get him on his left foot here? Get the finesse and that's an absolute corker. Great assist from Eto, but it's a beautiful finesse from him and that is exactly what was expected. Be able to get on the edge of the box, get the finesse in and it's not being stopped by anybody. That's a ball into Patrick. 80 second minute. Lozano's done absolutely all the work. And Patrick has just seen it home with his weak foot. Patrick's seen it out wide into Neymar. It's a lovely ball in. 
Can we find Patrick on that back post for the hat-trick? Courtois has denied him and denied him again. It is a corner. Can we get this cross in? Patrick with a header. Doesn't see his hat-trick in the 90th minute. That's great play from him. Really come alight in this end of the match. As we've figured out, kind of like a, a little bit of a nice way to use him. Just kind of keep him dribbling, keep him on the ball. He is a wonderful, wonderful player. Very similar to Isaac, but obviously the Bundesliga Isaac, I suppose. Oh, Patrick, don't do that to him. Look at that finesse. That is absolutely stunning. Takes it, tuts it to his left foot, and bang, past the keeper and everything. He didn't even move. It's just very big. He just gets in the way of absolutely everything. Patrick has been an absolute dream. I thought, I really thought, I was like, I was going to use Eto and Matthias in champs and thought, you know what? Icon moments are normally pretty easy to use in it. In terms of kind of like using SBC players, it goes one of two ways, and when you've got a striker who's 6-1, not necessarily the most meta in terms of if you look at him, you wouldn't necessarily think meta or screams it, but honestly, he's probably been one of the better ones out of the three. So then we have got Patrick here. He is 150k, 185 rated SBC, and 181 rated. The 81 is just, you, you just done out like if you've got some gold cards in the club should be very simple to complete the 85 a little bit more tricky it's only 50 cam which to be honest isn't that bad a couple of little um, strong links you're absolutely cruising one bundesliga player again should be so simple upgrade packs into this is very very easy then we have got him as a player so i thought straight off the bat like first impressions four star four star very nice left footed okay i can deal with that we've got a right footed striker that we're going to put with him six one not the greatest. Sometimes I like a smaller player. I do. I can't lie. Medium, medium. I have noticed that a hell of a lot more recently that they are not going into the box as quick as I want them to. We've got great pace. Shooting's exquisite. Got the good passing. Short vision curve. All you need for a striker. We've got the dribbling, which is down to an absolute T. The head and accuracy, a bit of strength. Aggression a little bit lacking, but we, we can move with that. We've got good stamina. And then obviously his jumping isn't awful. So I'm thinking... He genuinely could be quite a nice card. It tells us to put a hawk on. We whack a hawk on him. 98 pace, 98 shooting, 91 physical. Turn him into a 97 rated striker. And this guy is fantastic. His shooting outside the box is beautiful. His finesse shot, which he does have as a trait i was trying to think i knew he had either outside or finesse and he also has the flair his left stick dribbling is beautiful his shooting is lovely he's got great strength on the ball honestly he doesn't get bullied and i think that is a wonderful card to have in the team if you've used isaac he's very very similar in a lot of his attributes being quite tall i think isaac is a couple of inches taller but what he can bring to the table is a lot better than what i thought we did whack him in champs we put him in the big boys in the big league to see can he handle it and he banged it i think he scored three goals in two matches i want to say absolutely slapped it out of the park he did really really well and i think most definitely for 150k if you need a bundesliga striker go for this guy like genuinely go for this guy he has got an absolute magic left foot in terms of other strikers obviously we've got Lewandowski, Haaland who are both phenomenal strikers but I think you could go with a, a little link of Hazard slash Patrick together you could even work Lewandowski with him or Haaland himself because I think he brings a little bit of speed to the table which for 6-1 isn't that bad at all in terms of kind of like generational I think we've gone to the reviews there um, in terms of generational we We've not really got too much. He is 25 with this being his highest card by literally 12 ratings as his 81 in form was the previous highest rated card. He's had an absolute stonker. Some massive upgrades there. I think for me, I'd give him like a solid 9.1. I wouldn't necessarily go too much higher because there is cap there is kind of like limits to this card. So you've always got to be wary of them. Maybe he is a little bit too big. He doesn't fit in the pockets. Doesn't manage to get absolutely every shot off and maybe doesn't move as quick as, as an Insigne or a Messi. Always things you've got to consider when looking at a striker, but I think he played some absolutely wonderful football with him. I'm sticking with a 9.1. Let me know down below if you're going to be completing this card. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's it all for the next one. Peace.